The belts protecting these crash test dummies demonstrate a world first, the introduction of an automotive rear inflatable safety belt. This technology is extremely important because we're combining two safety features that we know have a track record for saving lives. That's seat belts and airbags. And by having an inflatable seat belt in the rear seat will add additional protection for the rear seat occupants. In the blink of an eye, Vehicle sensors will determine the severity of a crash. If required, each belt's tubular airbag inflates with cold compressed gas that flows through a specially designed buckle. The belts would inflate at a slower rate than a traditional airbag and help control head and neck motion for rear seat occupants, including the more vulnerable passengers, young children and the elderly. Ford's inflatable belt helps spread crash force protection over five times more of the body to enhance head, neck, and chest protection. We plan to introduce this on our next generation Explorer, which is really fitting because we've used that to demonstrate a number of our new safety technologies, like the side curtain canopies that inflate on rollover and our roll stability control, which is a first in the industry. So another chapter in Ford's leadership in family safety. The inflatable belts could also help increase the relatively low rear belt usage rate as Ford research participants say it is more comfortable than a traditional belt with more padding and smoother edges. That's really important because we need to encourage people to wear their seat belts and not many people in the back seat do, only about 60 percent do and we really want to get everybody buckled up because that truly does save lives. The inflatable rear safety belt will be introduced first in the next generation Explorer in North America and then in other Ford vehicles globally.